Welcome to Ignani.com. Microsoft Excel 2010. Chapter 1. Getting started with Excel 2010. Part G. Introduction to Ribbon. In the previous chapter, I gave you a glimpse of the ribbon. I can claim that the ribbon is one of the most dramatic changes that was introduced in the new user interface in Office 2007. Though it was not introduced in all the Office 2007 applications, in most of them, the traditional menus and toolbars were replaced by the ribbon. With this new change, new vocabulary such as ribbons, tabs, groups and the quick access toolbar also followed. In Office 2010, all applications use the ribbon interface. Excel 2007 was one of the applications that used Ribbon and it continues it even in Excel 2010. In Excel 2010, everything you would want to do from as simple as selecting a font, to working with data using pivot tables, you do them by giving commands. These commands are all organized on the Ribbon. But Excel 2010 is not a small application with few features. Packing all the buttons within a ribbon is no easy task. The ribbon uses tabs, to accommodate all these buttons. Ribbon tabs. The ribbon, is one of the dramatic and best changes to be done to Excel since the beginning. Unlike the menu and the toolbars, the ribbon makes it easier for us to find features, and also to remember where they are. All these features are logically grouped into various tabs. Ribbon tabs are a series of horizontal tabs, with each tab providing a collection of commands, that are logically grouped based on their feature. For example, the Home tab as you can see, contains all the commands that help you to change the appearance and position of text and numbers. By default, Excel 2010 shows 7 tabs. The highlighted area shows the default tabs, while the last three come only in certain special cases which I will cover later on in this chapter. Also, the file tab that you see at the beginning of the ribbon in green color, is a special tab. Clicking the file tab displays a different backstage view. Other than these tabs, there are some special tabs known as contextual tabs, that are hidden and appear only when they are necessary. I will cover the ribbon tabs in detail throughout this tutorial. However, before moving forward, I would like to give a small introduction to each of the ribbon tabs. Home tab. This is where you will spend most of your time. It is selected by default and contains various commands such as clipboard, formatting commands, commands to insert, delete, hide, merge and move, and also a set of commands, to assist us in editing the data. Insert tab. This tab, provides the commands that you need to insert something into the worksheet such as, tables, illustrations in the form of pictures, clip art, shapes, a wide range of charts, text, objects, equations, symbols, hyperlinks and a lot more. Page Layout tab. This tab contains commands that deals mainly related to the overall appearance of the worksheet, including those related to printing. They include themes, page setup, moving and arranging objects, formulas tab. The commands in this tab allows you to work with a wide range of formulas, naming cells or cell ranges, tools to audit the formulas, and various other related tasks. Data tab. This tab contains commands that lets you connect and get data from external data source. It also includes tools to handle large amounts of data by sorting, filtering, and grouping. Review tab. You can find commands to spell check, translate words. It also provides commands that let you add, 
or delete comments and also in protecting and sharing worksheets and workbooks. View tab. The view tab provides commands to control how a sheet is viewed. It also allows you to view multiple Excel files at the same time. Also you have the options to hide, split, and freeze panes. Apart from the tabs mentioned till now, there are a few more that I would like to mention. Add-ins These are the tabs that are visible only if we have installed add-ins to Office that customizes the menu or toolbars. Since menus and toolbars are replaced by the ribbon, these customizations appear in the add-ins tab. Power Pivot tab appears if we install Power Pivot for Excel which is an add-in to Excel 2010 that is used for adding and integrating large amounts of data in Excel workbooks. Load Test tab, appears if we have the testing environment installed. The Team tab, contains commands to work with Team Foundation Server and will appear in your Excel when you install Team Explorer. There is one special tab that is not visible by default. But if you are a developer or would want to develop apps for Excel, then you should enable it. To enable it, go to File tab. Select, Options. In the dialog box that appears, select, Customize Ribbon. From the list of tabs, select the checkbox next to the option Developer, and click OK, to save and exit. This will display the Developer tab. The Developer tab contains commands that are useful for programmers. The appearance of the commands on the ribbon changes with the change in the size of the Excel window. Take the Home tab for instance. If you would like to see all the commands, then the Excel window should be stretched as wide as 1800 pixels. As the window gets narrower, the ribbon adjusts the commands first by trimming the text then by removing some empty spaces, and then by squeezing as many buttons as possible in a given area. You can decrease the window size till the ribbon is showing just one button from each group. If you narrow it further, the ribbon stops squeezing any further and the buttons are hidden. Two buttons appear, one each next to ribbon tabs, and the command button area. You can click it, to scroll right which reveals the hidden buttons. In the next chapter, I will continue with ribbon and the contextual tabs. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.